hopes for a first wave of coronavirus vaccinations before the end of 2020 received a boost as another drug maker says it's ready to ask U.S. and European regulators to allow emergency use of its COVID-19 vaccine. AP's Mike Hempen has more. Moderna is asking regulators to allow emergency use of its vaccine as new study results confirm the tests offer strong protection. Moderna's vaccine has been created with the National Institutes of Health. Results from over the weekend suggest the vaccine is more than 94% effective. Moderna says the shot's effectiveness and a good safety record so far with only temporary flu-like side effects mean the vaccine meets the requirements requirements set by the Food and Drug Administration for emergency use before the final stage testing is complete. I'm Mike Hempen. If the U.S. Food and Drug Administration agrees Moderna's product is safe and effective, the first of the drug's two doses could be given to millions of people by the middle of December. U.S. President-elect Joe Biden is continuing a push toward diversity as he rolls out administration appointments. AP's Sagar Magani has more. Biden's announcing his senior economic team, highlighted by former Fed Chair Janet Yellen, who would be the nation's first female Treasury Secretary. He's also tapping Mira Tandon to lead the Office of Management and Budget. She would be the first woman of color in that post, as would Cecilia Rouse atop the White House's Council of Economic Advisors. Biden's picked her to chair the council. Sagar Magani, Washington. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abe Ahmed says the Tigray region's dissident leaders have fled west of the regional capital after weeks of fighting. Reuters David Doyle has more. The triumphant Abe Ahmed praised his troops in Ethiopia's parliament on Monday for their victory in the country's northern Tigray region, even as the forces he claims to have defeated said they were still fighting. His soldiers captured Tigray's capital, Mekale, at the weekend, prompting a declaration that a military operation in the region was completed. Abi said they'd carried out a special surgery in Mekale and not destroyed the city, nor killed a single civilian in the region. But in a conflict where information has been difficult to verify, the rebellious Tigrayan People's Liberation Front has a different version of events. It says Mekale suffered heavy bombardment. It also says the war is far from over and claims to have shot down a plane and retaken a town. That is Reuters' David Doyle reporting. A top Iranian security official says Israel used electronic devices to remotely kill a military nuclear scientist. AP's Charles de Ledesma has the story. The remark from the secretary of the country's Supreme National Security Council drastically changes the story of the Friday slaying of the nuclear scientists. Authorities initially said a truck exploded and then gunmen opened fire. A state TV Arabic language channel claims the weapons used were controlled by satellite, a claim also made Sunday by the semi-official Fars news agency. None of the outlets immediately offered any evidence supporting their claims. Israel has declined to comment on the attack. I'm Charles Guladesma. Britain and the European Union are warning each other that time is running out to reach a Brexit trade deal, with big differences still to be bridged on state aid, enforcement, and fishing. Britain leaves the EU's orbit on December 31st, when a transition period of informal membership ends, following its formal departure last January. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson says a deal would be preferable, but that Britain will flourish without one. Merriam-Webster has announced its annual Word of the Year. AP's Oscar Wells-Gabriel has more. The editor at large for Merriam-Webster says the choice of pandemic probably is not going to be a big shock. Not only is it a technical term for a widespread outbreak of disease, but it's become a mainstream word in 2020. Pandemic first began trending online in January. It really took off in March after the World Health Organization declared the novel coronavirus as a pandemic. Searches for pandemic that day alone were 115,806 percent higher than those for the same date a year ago. I'm Oscar Wells Gabriel.